In this video tutorial, we are going to be looking at some of the uh, features of uh, ASP.NET. Um, I am going to create a new website. So, do you know how to create a new website? By going to File, New Website, and you choose ASP.NET Website. You can, uh, you should leave the uh, location to be File System. Choose Visual C Sharp. Then uh, let's. Uh, name our folder something uh, first website that's what I'm going to name it and you click on OK this is going to create our website for us so as you can see the uh, the default page has been created so I'm going to rename uh, this page I'm going to call it uh, page 1 page one dot ASPX so we have our page one dot ASPX so um, this is how you I'm going to show you how to uh, add another page to your website say for example you want to add a new page to your website all you have to do is right click on the project name if you right click on the project name and uh, select add new item uh, it's going to present you with these uh, uh, add new item dialog box you want to choose a web form uh, in a in a moment I'm going to explain the reason why it, they're not called uh, web pages why they're called web form so select a web form and we're going to name this to be page 2 page 2 dot ASPX so you have to pay attention to this uh, deselect this because I need to use this one as an example so uh, make sure that you uncheck uh, place code in separate file so uncheck this and make sure that this one is also unchecked and click on add a new page so now we have two pages so the first thing I want to show you is uh, as a matter of preference you can uh, decide uh, sorry I think uh, I did not name my page to be page 2 so let's change it to be page 2 dot ASPX so we have two pages page 1 dot ASPX and page 2 dot ASPX so as a matter of preferences if you look at page 1 you can see that we have two files inside page 1 which is page 1 dot ASPX dot CS so if I double click to open that page you can see that uh, this is these are C sharp codes uh, just like I said, I'm doing a lot of uh, C Sharp video tutorials as well, so you should watch those videos to understand what uh, to understand C Sharp language. So um, the the page one has been divided into two parts. So the first part will be to hold all the HTML uh, codes, and the second part will hold the uh, C Sharp programming codes so whereas page 2 because we unselect we uncheck the, uh, the, the the checkbox that says place the codes in separate files so now as you can see we have a different section at the top here which says script run at equals to server which we do not have on page 1 so we do not have the script here so as a matter of preferences you can um, choose to place uh, actually let me show you an example of what happened so if I select page 1 and I had a button to the page 1 also if I select page 2 and uh, if I go to the design view and also if I add a button also to page 2 so watch what happened when I double click on this button you can see that on page 2 because we have uh, decided to put the C sharp codes on the same page as the HTML codes we get the uh, the uh, button click method in the same page as the HTML so uh, it's a matter of preference so if I go to page 1 and I do the same thing if I click on it you will see that uh, this has been added to the uh, page one dot ASPX dot CX, so the C sharp uh, file. So it depends on how you want to, uh, how do you prefer. But um, my own preference is to 
place both of them in the uh, in the same file especially because uh, in this video I would not like to be switching between two um, pages so it's a matter of preference just like I said so you can decide which one you want to do but I'm going to be using this method where I have um, two of them the two codes the HTML and the CSS code on the same page so another thing I want to explain to you is uh, the uh, the uh, the what makes up the pages um, the pages are made up of directives called declaration box and the page render bo block so the directive let me show you what the directives are so if I use this one as the example these are the directives at the top so this is the page directive the page directive is just there to tell the uh, compiler uh, the information it needs to process the page so this is the tag for the page directive um, as the name suggested it's kind of like giving you know the directions to the compiler on what to do so as you can see on this page now uh, the language is using a C sharp so it's saying to this uh, compiler that it needs to use the C sharp compiler to compile the code and the second uh, element of the page is the um, code declaration block so the Cloud declaration box is the one that used the script tag, which I showed you earlier on. So these are the code, uh, the code block. So as you can see, it contains all the C# -sharp codes and is going to run on the server. So this is going to run on the ASP.NET server. And uh, finally, the last one is the page render block, which contains all the HTML elements and the uh, ASP.NET controls that is used to make up the pages. So all the contents of the page render block are output to the browser after being processed on the server. So what that, what that means is the last part which starts from here all the way down is the uh, page render block. So this is going to be the what you see in the final design of the page so for example this button now is not just an ordinary HTML button is an H is an ASP.NET uh, control as you can see it said ASP colon button then it gives it the, an ID then it say run at server anytime you see this run at server it means this particular button is not just an HTML button that runs inside the web browser this one runs on the server and uh, uh, it's got text button and the on click event so so that's what I want to explain to you you can have your page uh, as a single page or as a double page depending on your preferences you have the page directives at the, bl uh, at the top you have the uh, code declaration block which will host all your codes uh, any C sharp code you want to write goes here and you have the page render block which will render the uh, all the content of the HTML and and I said I was going to explain the reason why they call web form if you look at this code here it says form ID equals to form 1 run at equals to server so it's telling you that uh, this is a form so every controls inside the HTML goes inside this form so this is the form that will be processed inside the this particular form will be processed on the server and every controls that you, every ASP.NET controls that you write must be placed within this form tag so this form open tag and form uh, close tag and that's why it's called a uh, page um, uh, web form so um, I hope you have uh, learned something new and um, in the next video we're going to be writing some C sharp code and um, uh, also explaining more about some of the HTML and ASP.NET uh, controls that we have in ASP.NET. Thank you.